welcome back to The Winning Leap. In modern society, technology and infrastructure are constantly evolving. So it's no surprise that the profile of a criminal is gradually changing too, becoming more sophisticated, more tech savvy and leaning more and more towards cyber crime. With the exponential growth in structured and unstructured data and proliferation of social media, there has been a steady increase in technology-driven frauds. Cybercrime is here to stay and is on the rise. The way I look at cybercrime, earlier crime used to happen by using traditional non-technology methods. Today, a lot of the same crime is being executed by using technology and we've called it cybercrime. At the end of the day, the objective and the motive in, in economic crime is to make money. So if you use technology, the help of technology, you call it a cybercrime. So how you deal with that? I think so as companies or individuals, there are certain basic do's and don'ts we need to do. So for example, have complex passwords. Don't go around sharing your passwords with people. Uh, you know, these are simple things, but people do mistake. I've done a lot of investigations around that. Social media and the online revolution has opened up an opportunity for cyber criminals as perpetrators of economic crime. The entire profile of the fraudster is changing. He is somebody who is much younger. He is in the age gap between 25 to 35 years. He is very smart. He is very articulate. He is technologically savvy. He understands what are the weak points in a company. He is an extrovert. He is somebody who is not going to operate alone. And finally, he is somebody who will first commit very insignificant frauds and see if he can get away. And if he does, that's when he's going to commit the real crime. To get a clearer picture of the face of cybercrime in India, I'm here with Mr. Shivarama Krishnan, who is the leader, Cyber Security, PwC India. Welcome, Mr. Krishnan. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about the profile of a cyber criminal today? What can we expect to see? Historically in the past, most of the cyber crimes has been done by IT professionals or the technologists who, have, who had a deep understanding about technology. But in the social media era, it has changed. Today, you have all category of people or ab is able to carry out cyber crime. It is from uneducated to educated. It is from you know underage to the older age people. It is from you know IT professionals to the regular professionals. It is pervasive across. Well, actually, that brings me to the next question, specifically about social media. Do you feel that the widespread use of social media in this country actually adds to the favorable environment for cyber crime to take place? Absolutely. You know, people look for individual personal information for exploitation. Knowingly or unknowingly, social media exposes us to disclose them. For instance, if you use a credit card, what are the information the credit card user companies uses you to protect your information? Date of birth, place of residence, wife's name, daughter's name, mother's name, places that you visited last, yeah. and so on and so forth. And we are all encouraged to publish on daily basis our own personal data into the social media, which is accessible by the public. So in real essence, the social media is one of the stimulant for increasing cybercrime across the globe, not limited to India alone. So, sir, can you tell us why do you think it is that in the recent years, there's been such an increase in technology-driven fraud? It's directly proportional to the increasing use of technology. Let's take a step back and think about it. Until a few years back, the number of internet users are limited to about 20, 21 crores. Today, we have over 60 crores internet users in India, and all of them start using mobile phones. Second reason is, as we progress into use of it, and they've also learned in a normal crime, crime scenario, the speed at which you get prosecuted or con convicted is reasonably certain. In a cyberspace, it's evolving. It's a learning. So there is a delay in, in first catching a fraudster yeah. and then prosecuting them and then they get punished. So what can we do then, both on a corporate and an individual level, to try to protect ourselves from these crimes? There are multiple strategies. For instance, a Facebook today offers you to protect what you're sharing. You want to share only with the friends or, or with the public. Right, yeah. And by default, we share everything with the public. Yeah. If you're able to change that, that's one, inf one important thing which is needed. 
it is important for us to celebrate our successes celebrate our vacations and so on and so forth but it's also important that how do i do it if i go out and do it to say that i'm going to be away for 15 days you're inviting a thief to get into your home that's true when you look at from a corporate world unfortunately most of the most sensitive information of the corporates which are intelligence driven for their business progress and performances it is in their email boxes it is in the form of excel sheets it's in the form of powerpoints it's in the form of word documents yeah. so question for the corporates is that how do i identify unstructured information which are crucial or which are relevant to protect in the corporates and how do they protect them right and are there any steps being taken by the government actually to protect individuals and corporates from cyber crime the government has done multiple things one it has in their new it act which they revamped in 2010 brought in clauses to protect corporate sensitive information has provided the guidelines and the passage to ensure that it is prosecutable under the it act now it is impendent upon the companies how do they use it how do they make sure that they have relevant prosecutable evidence is collected and demonstrated to the prosecuting agencies every district has got a cyber crime cell now it is for us to really use them and make it stronger stringent and set an examples for people not to do it repeat again Thank you very much for joining us Mr Krishnan. Well on that note that's all we have for you this week but do join us again next week on the winning leap as we focus on a very relevant topic of leveraging technology for growth from the entire team many thanks for watching. Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable.